Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and here's another tuning the video, the tuning the videos, yeah, tuning the radio, the XH Data D808. It's also known as the Ciudadan uh, D808. From what I know, it's pretty much the same radio. Some people say they've seen some slight differences, but um, apart from the color of the display, which is orange, um, you know, there might be a few little things that they have changed, but overall it's the same radio. The operations seem to be the same. So um, we're going to tune, actually. I'm going to tune from uh, 12,000 to, uh, whoops, frequency 12,000. And going down, and we're going to tune around the bands a little bit on the radio. Uh, I'm also going to explain what I do and how I uh, use this radio when I tune. So, uh, of course, to enter a frequency, you press frequency, you see it disappear. You enter the frequency. When it's a five-digit frequency, it's automatic. If it's a four-digit frequency, then you'll have to press the frequency button again to validate. Or trick that you can use not to press frequency is start with a zero. So if I press zero seven seven eight zero and there we go it's automatic because I had a zero before but if I press seven seven eight zero it's gonna wait for me to press frequency to confirm it. So just to let you know. So frequency twelve thousand since it's the twenty five meter band I'm gonna actually remove myself from single sideband by pressing the SSB button. Now I'm back to AM mode. Another thing that uh, is the uh, bandwidths. The bandwidths in uh, the international broadcast bands uh, are available in 6, 4, 3, 2.5, 2, 1.8, 1 kilohertz. 6 is for the best audio fidelity. Uh, but for regular tuning, to make sure I'm not, you know, listening to something on a frequency that might be next to it. Uh, and also because I find that audio-wise it's nice and reduces a bit of interference, I will uh, most of the time use the bandwidth of 4 kilohertz on the international broadcast bands. So 12,000 kilohertz, which is Radio Havana, Cuba. Often not listed because this is actually an image uh, or a um, harmonic of a primary frequency so an harmonic is a multiply a multiplication so it's like a uh, multiplied frequency you know, times two times three times four in this case if we look at 6000 kilohertz you'll see that radio van at cuba is here and if i go to 12000 kilohertz you hear the same station it's not there technically it's the second harmonic of 6000 that often shows up there so let's tune around now in the international broadcast band 1 kilohertz I find it a little small a lot of a step in general unless you are really really wanting to pinpoint something very precise so what I'll do is often click until I get the fast tuning and then get 5 kilohertz and if I want in my tuning I can always go and revert to a smaller step of 1 kilohertz to fine-tune something if I want I don't know what we're gonna get at this time it's almost 0200 UTC which is late night here Eleven eight fifteen. I believe this could be a Brazilian station 11815 is uh, one of the Brazilians we hear quite often, uh, which is Radio Brazil Central, which goes up to, which is a 24 hour broadcast actually. And it's the only station at this time listed, so it's. Should be in Portuguese normally. So Brazil, Radio Brazil Central, 11815. Radio Nacional Amazon is missing from 11780. Uh, they've been missing for many days now. So I don't know what's happening if they're having some kind of transmitter problem. But 11780 has been missing for the past uh, uh, almost a week now. Radio Vanek, Cuba.
This is also Radio Atlantic Cuba. The soft mute on the XH data is not as bad as on other radios. It's quite fast. Some radios take a long time for the audio to come back. It's annoying, but it's less annoying than many other radios. So here on 11480 below 11500, I'm going to revert to single sideband. And I'm going to make sure that I'm in upper sideband because I uh, most utilities and most of the things that I'll encounter here will probably be upper sideband. If you're in the wrong sideband, the info button below SSB is what changes to lower or upper sideband. into here what we're gonna do we're going to go directly I'm gonna start at uh, 10051 which is Gander radio That's Gander Radio, Newfoundland, Canada. I fine-tuned the voice. So here at 10,000, we're going to remove ourselves from single sideband. Look at the uh, overload, strong overload here. Oh, the RMI 9955. One of the problems on the MLE30 with the XH data is definitely uh, the overload problem that can happen. It's it overloads more. As you see here, it overloads a lot more than a lot of radios. So every so we hear Greece, but we hear another some other music, some really strong signal overloading it, it's kind of interesting. So that's one of the the negative sides of the XH data. It's easy to overload. But you know on telescopic only it's gonna be fine. It's really when you use an outdoor antenna that the problem is arising. The other thing to remember is that the syndication of the battery isn't really exact because as soon as you turn it on it says you know only a uh, Half an hour after you use it, even with full charge, it says, oh, I'm halfway through, which is not the case. Um, when it's like this halfway through, you get a full day halfway through. It's just not indicating very well uh, the battery the battery level. So this here, 92, 100, 91, 95. Some radar, uh, some, possibly some radar. So here we're at 9,000, uh, we can put ourselves in single sideband, which will uh, give us... You see here all the overload that I'm getting. I don't know what station actually is giving me that overload, but it's pretty amazing. 
Uh, the other thing is that, of course, you can uh, you can go to is uh, to make sure that you understand the display functionalities that you get. So you got the alarm, you've got the clock, you've got the signal or the noise uh, and signal uh, ratio, which is uh, signal noise ratio, which for me is rather useless and honestly, it doesn't indicate it very well. Uh, I rather have most of the time I rather have a clock which gives me UTC time while I'm tuning around, which I find much better uh, for this. And don't forget to play with the bandwidth, it's always useful. Uh, and of course you got the band switch on the left side. Uh, so um, don't forget to depress for the, uh, the button. It's easy not to know that this button clicks and changes the steps of the tuning. Uh, that's a lot, uh, a lot of people don't know that. And of course the fine tuning knob on the right side. And of course, external antenna, which is fun, and volume control. Uh, overall, it's you know still a nice package. I still find the XH data to be a pretty cool portable, and uh, anyone that has one um, it does still have a great radio, and um, you know on telescopic it performs superb, uh, really really cool. So a little bit of operations. Hope you enjoyed this video of tuning around a bit and uh, talking of the radio itself. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.